Hello everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I have a super beautiful, fun, and bright card for you today using Stampin' Up's Sunny Days Stamp Set. We're gonna be doing a little bit of coloring using our Stampin' Blend alcohol-based markers, alcohol ink. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. If you're new to my videos, I will have the name of the item that I'm using on the screen, as well as the item code for that product. Everything you see today can be ordered directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampitup.net. We're gonna be doing a little bit of heat embossing as well today. Let me put that up there. Okay, we're gonna be using this stamp set, right? or this stamp from the set here, as well as, which one are we using? We're using Make Your Dreams Happen. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna pull out a piece of our basic black cardstock right here. And this is cut at three and three quarter inches by five inches. I'm gonna set everything else aside just for now. All these other little papers and embellishments. And we'll start with our embossing, our heat embossing first. So I'm going to pull out our Versamark ink pad. And I also have some of our Whisper White embossing powder and I have it in this little Tupperware container. This is how I store all of my embossing powder. It's just super easy um, to just emboss, or I'm sorry, to prepare little pieces of paper uh, using this. And I'm gonna grab our embossing buddy, and I'm just going to be embossing on the bottom. What did I get on there? I'm just gonna be embossing the bottom, so I'm just doing a really quick swipe like that. Ooh, I did a big swipe, but you know what I mean. Just a little bit of a swipe, and now, I'm going to stamp with the first of mark the sentiment that says make your sunny happy what make your dreams happen I couldn't read backwards I was trying but I couldn't do it I'm gonna stamp that right here about three quarters of an inch up off the bottom set that aside and you should have all of this ready. If you've never heat embossed before, if you're new to my channel, this is a new technique to you, you've got to give it a try. It is so much fun because we get to pull out a fun tool called the heat tool, or also they're called heat guns. So here it is right here. This is the Stampin' Up! heat tool. It has two settings, one and two. One is for more setting ink on your paper or drying ink. Two is for the heat embossing. And all you have to do is just watch it melt. I put it on one side and then I just watch it melt. And then I go from one side to the other. And there's many different ways that you may want to do this. You might want to circle this around. I never do that. But you might want to do that. Or sometimes you might want to do it from the bottom. You'll get the same results, however you'd like to emboss. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Do you guys like my new tabletop? It's so pretty. Okay, this is a piece of our Whisper White cardstock, and this is just a scrap. And with that, I'm using our Mem Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad, and I'm going to be stamping this right here. Ta-da! Now it's time to do a little bit of our coloring. And these are the Stampin' Blends. And I'm not going to color every single detail. I mean, I, I'm doing a lot of it, but I'm actually not going to be using that many colors. So I have it narrowed down to where I'm using the Crumb Cake Blends combo. So this includes the light and the dark. And what I absolutely love about our alcohol markers, my most favorite thing, is that they coordinate with our exclusive colors. And so I know if I'm using one of our markers, I know that we have matching cardstock and we have ink pads and everything coordinates and the embellishments. 
and that's one of my favorite things about them. And they're just really awesome to color with too. And then I'm using just, these are random ones. So I'm using a random light flirty flamingo. That was weird. It rolled and it rolled back. Okay, light flirty flamingo. And I have, this is dark lovely lipstick, but they go very well together. And then I'm using dark granny apple green. So I'll start with my lightest, which is the crumb, the light crumb cake. And I'm going to speed this whole coloring process up. I'm not doing any shading. I'm going to do a little shading on the pot. So maybe that's the part. I won't speed that part up. So hopefully, let me zoom it in for you. So it's a little bit closer. I'm using the light crumb cake and I'm just going to color it all in. And then I'm going to take the dark crumb cake and I'm just going to do a little shading on the side. And they're called blends because they will all blend in together. It just will kind of come together and blend. So that's all I'm doing with that. The rest of them, let me tell you the colors. I'm doing the crumb cake up in the banner, the light, and then I'm using the dark for the wood. I'm going to use the light flirty flamingo for the liquid because it's pink lemonade, you know. It's got to be pink lemonade. So pink lemonade, and then I'm using the dark lovely lipstick for the flower and for the um, the dark pink lemons, if they exist. That's what it's going to be. And then the um, granny apple green is for the leaves and the stem on this. Okay, so I'm going to start coloring. Okay, I am done coloring. So it's time to make this into a really fun card. i put my blends aside. I'll knock my camera equipment over. And I'm gonna pull out my die cutting machine, my Big Shot. I'm gonna put my paper right here. And now I'm using, of course, stitched frames, or stitch shapes framelits. And I'm gonna use the square, trying to line this up. So I think I stamped a little crooked, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm putting my die on there so it doesn't come out crooked after. Okay, I'm gonna run that through. Super easy to do. And that's all the die cut work I'm doing on this card. I'm gonna go ahead and just punch this out like that. And ta-da, I have a nice stitched shape framelit. Stitched square is what I meant. Now I have a piece here of our granny apple green cardstock. And it's so pretty, fun and bright. This is cut, so instead of cutting, let me show you what the paper looks like full. Instead of cutting it the other way, which I normally do, so this is a piece of our eight and a half by 11. I normally cut it like this for a card. Decided to cut it this way instead. So I cut it four and a quarter. You can get two cards out of one piece of cardstock. I'm gonna fold this in half. Now I've scored this at five and a half. So you have to score it a little bit differently. So I've scored it. And now I'm going to take this piece of black that we already embossed. I'm gonna use my snail adhesive and add this on here like this. It gives you a nice and big um, border because I like big borders on there and now I'm using our burlap ribbon because I thought this kind of looked rustic and if you can imagine this banner I'd imagine that it was burlap up here you know wouldn't you like that's burlap for sure I'm just gonna take a strip of it like this I'm just gonna cut it off and I'm going to add this and I'm just gonna take some of our snail adhesive this is great for the burlap you can just add it right on to it and I'm going to add this right about here. Give me room for my, my main element. Now I have a piece of our lovely lipstick because I pulled out the granny apple for the card base right from here. And I'm pulling out the lovely lipstick from the flower and then my pink lemons because you know, you've got to have pink lemons. So this is cut at one quarter inch 
by four inches here, but we're gonna cut that up. I'm just gonna put a little piece of adhesive on the back of this, and then I'm gonna put that from side to side in the middle like that, and then I think I'm just gonna cut little tiny homemade, a homemade little banner here. Just give it a little bit of a snip like that. And then I'm doing the other side for this snip right here. And then throw that on the floor. Now I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals right here. I'm gonna add five, I think. One on each corner, one in the middle, and one in that corner. And now we can take these off. Ta-da. And we'll put this right, not upside down. We're gonna put this right here across. And then we have a nice fun card. I just love how this looks like a chalkboard. It's like a chalkboard cut piece right there. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video for you, which is normally two to three times a week. And you can find me on my website, mypinkstamper.com. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.